In this video, I want to show you the dot loop app. If you haven't been in the dot loop app in a while, it has been overhauled and changed with a lot of great features. Now, I'm showing you on the iPhone. However, the Android app was updated. The look is slightly different, but all the features I'm going to show you today are there. So you're going to want to go to the App Store and find the dot loop app. This is going to require you to sign in with your dot loop account. It's usually an email address that you registered with dot loop and a password. It may or may not be the same as your MyKW password. Now, this is a sample of the dot loop app right now, and I have it filtered to just show some of the deals I'm working on currently. The cool thing here is this app works just like the website. If you notice down below, you've got the little uh, smiley face guy, which I call uh, for the loops. You've got tasks here to show any task or if you want to create tasks. People here to show all of your contacts. This does sync with Market Leader and the eEdge system. So if you add a contact to your database, it's automatically in dot loop. And then templates here to the right. Now, staying within the loop, there's some cool features up at the top of the screen. I've got a little, uh, what looks like an alarm clock here to just show me my activity log. This will show everything that you've been doing recently in the app within the past few days. Next, you've got that little down arrow on the upper right hand corner. This allows me to change the view, sort it by, or filter by. So that way I can filter out anything that might be archived, and then I can sort it by most recent or likely to close. So I'm going to go ahead and come into one of these uh, loops that I have created. And you're going to notice here that it's got the option for you to add a photo if you want to add a picture here of the house. Um, it's got some cool controls. Upper right hand corner, the little down arrow there, will show you the activity log for this loop. And if you're new to dot loop, a loop is basically a folder of everything related to the transaction. So you're going to put in here the contracts, any paperwork that's been signed, any addendums, any disclosures, your closing statement, all kinds of files for your clients. Here I can view my messages, loop details, submit for review, and submit for green sheet. Now looking down below, I've got already people assigned to this, some tasks, and looking at contracts here under my documents folder, I've already got my executed contract. Now, if you click the little blue down arrow next to the word documents, this is where you can create a new folder or you can show any archived items. Now, if I click the plus sign next to the folder here, it's going to let me create a new document. The cool thing here is it does have a built in scanner. Um, I'm not quite a fan of it. However, maybe you can master it better than I have. So I can go ahead and show you, I've got a sample document here. I'm going to go ahead and scan. So I'm going to turn on scan a document. It's going to use my phone to take a picture, make sure the lighting is good. Now it's got the little check sign there so I can just click it or I can add more than one document. That's the whole point to add more than one page. So I'll go ahead and go in here. Now I need to crop this. So I'm going to click the little crop line and it's going to let me literally draw my edges and trace out the piece of paper perfectly. There and there. When I hit done, it's going to flatten my article. I can come here to brightness and lightness and kind of adjust it to make sure it's legible. I can reorder the pages, that's what the arrows up and down are. Or I can choose photos from my phone. That way if a client had sent me a picture of their documents that they had signed, and then you can always delete it as well. So I'm going to hit done here. Now I get to name this document, so we're just going to call it test scan for my own use. And hit done. Now it's uploading the file. Because it's a picture, it is a larger file. That's why it warns you to be on Wi-Fi. Now notice test scan is in dark text here. And if you click the three dots to the right of test scan, I've got some options. First off, it shows me it's a PDF in gray. And then it's not shared. From here, I can view messages. I can share it. 
rename. This is important if you wanted to rename your executed contract or rename any of your files to say like old version or new version. And this is where you go to archive it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up test scan. Now if you haven't been in the dot loop app in a while, this is where all the new features are. Here, if I were to choose edit in the upper right hand corner, I now get these controls at the bottom of the screen. The far left one is for signature and initials. You can now sign inside the dot loop app. That is one of the biggest changes. I can add text. That's the icon to the next step. I can add any strike throughs. I can do a check box and then I can also add a calendar item. So I'm going to go ahead and just sign this document by clicking the signature here and it's going to say add signature or add initials. I'll go ahead and choose add signature here. Tap to add a signature field so I'll add it where it says signature here. Okay now it's not in the right spot so I'm just going to remove it and notice there's a little dot in the lower right hand corner. This is my ability to resize it to something larger or smaller. Now here I can sign as myself or I can assign this to any of the people that are already here or add a person from this screen. Now in this example I just want to show you how to sign. You can also tap here to remove it. I'm going to tap sign. Now first off I already have a signature that was signed so I'm going to switch this to type version. That's usually how it'll start. It'll start with the text added of their name and a digital signature already made for them. However you're on a mobile device and you can switch to draw in the lower bottom and then draw your own signature. I can clear it here and draw my signature. It's a horrible one. So I'm going to clear it and switch to type version and then I can confirm it here as well. Now it added the signature and it added my dot loop verified date and timestamp as well. I can add any additional text here. I can edit the text once I've added it, say the word like test, done. I can do my strike through. Let's say I want to cross out this field here. There's my strike through and I can resize it. Or I could tap to remove it. Any check boxes I have, I can add them here. And then I can select it to check it. Tap it to remove it. And that's pretty much it. It's got some basic things. Once you've saved it, it's going to say, would you like to share this? I'm going to say no. And come back here. And now my documents will be ready to share. So I can check them all if I was ready to share them. And I can share it with whoever I want to attach the PDF, just like you would in the Dotlib website. Now, what I like about this system, I'm not going to I can also hit open to just open everything together and view it all. So it's executed contract, any of my files here that I've scanned in, and again I can share it from there. What's neat is, remember this is one PDF, right? You may not know there's a hidden feature in the iPhone to actually create a PDF. If you click more when you're inside a document like this, it's got messages, host in person signing, and then print. If you go to print, it'll actually open up the print dialog for the iPhone here. And if you hold your finger down on the image, it actually opens it up into a PDF screen. See, test scan.pdf. Here, if I click the little square with an arrow pointing up in the lower left hand corner, I'm able to email this out, add it to other storages, view it in import with books. It's basically letting you take that PDF. So if you weren't aware, the iPhone can and iPad can actually take any scan, at any file, and you're able to open it up in a PDF. So that's the basics of the app here. One of my other favorite features of this is when I get emailed a PDF. There's a cool feature where I'm able to press on the email itself. I'm sure I have an email here, so I'll go to my email real quick. I'm in my KW. Let's see, where's the last PDF that I have from just the other day? Let's do... Here we go. Here's a PDF that I scanned to myself. 
Notice it's actually got a dot loop icon because I have the dot loop app on my phone. It recognizes every dot loop can be opened in dot loop. So if I press and hold on this file and it opens up for a PDF, I can actually click this little icon here and I've got the option to import with dot loop. This is powerful to take any PDF when you get those offers, when you have those files, and you want to actually import it into dot loop. If I click import to dot loop, it opens the dot loop app here. I can add it to a copy to a loop up at the top. I can copy it to templates or copy to a new loop at the bottom. So I'm going to choose loops and we'll choose one of these test ones that I'm working on here. Test. We'll use this one here. And it copied the file into my loop. So that way I'm actually able to use it. I'm going to come back here real quick and copy it into a loop that I can see right now without having to undo my filters. So I'm going to import with dot loop. I'm going to choose the loop and I'm looking for 9877. There we go. Jones family. When I come into this one now, there's the file I scanned in. I can click the three dots to quickly rename it. And I'll just put in here, final version, done. And I can come into this document to see what I had added. So this is activating a license. However, you can get the idea of any PDF this will work for. It's just another great way to utilize the dot loop app. And the final feature that I like a lot is under templates, the cool thing is, when you're on the website for Dotloop, it's kind of hard to find just the contract you need quickly and easily. However, in the Dotloop app, it does the search bar at the top, searches all folders at once. So if I quickly needed the as-is contract, it'll find whatever I'm looking for here in Florida. That's one of the main contracts we use. If I was looking for lead, I do the lead-based paint disclosures, lead info pamphlet, anything related to there. Look, it's all folders at once because this items, these items are in multiple folders, I can quickly find them here, as well as adding my own folders and everything for templates. So that's the quick overview of the Dotloop app. Um, finally, I'll show you if you click on your picture in the upper left-hand corner, or it might actually be um, just your initials if you do not have a photo like I do. If you select your profile here, and then actually go to the little gear in the upper right-hand corner, they actually have a built-in help screen here, which will give you your tech support number to call and your Dotloop ID. And then if you click help again in the upper right-hand corner, it opens up the actual help search screen of all their documents and videos that Dotloop has right within the app. No having to go to a browser or leave it. So that's quickly just the Dotloop app. It does everything that your website does, yet especially on a mobile phone, there's a lot of great features like scanning and the ability to take any PDF on your phone and put it into a loop quickly and easily on the go. This will work the same for the Android. It looks a little different, but all of these features I showed you today are on the Android as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching.